In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add connecting lines to stacked column charts. Or instead of connecting lines, you might want to add a faint background or shaded areas to each of the stack sets. So instead of them looking like this, they're going to look like this. This is the data set that we have, and based on this, I'm going to insert a stacked column chart. Okay, I'm just going to position it right on top, remove the grid lines. And now to show the trend of each of these stacks, I have different options. So one was what we saw at the beginning is to highlight the area behind each of these stacks. But another option is to connect these stacks with a line. If you go to the settings here, you can't find that option. The option is actually under design, add chart element. You can see that there's an overlap, right? So most of these, pretty much all of these are here, but lines is not there. So you have to come to this menu and then click on series lines. Now you can format these lines to make them thinner, to make them lighter if you want. So it could go with a much lighter gray. I could also put dashes instead of a line to make it look like this. In that case, let's just make this look better. I'm gonna push the legend to the top and let's expand this so that it's gonna sit right on top of the data set. Okay, that looks good. Now let's make this bigger as well and take away this border. No outline, okay. That looks good. That's one way of showing the trend of each of the stacks. What you can also do is to highlight the area behind the stack if you want. I'm gonna delete these lines and let's do the area version. What I'm gonna do is to add the same data set in here, but change the type of the series of the new data set to a stacked area chart. That way I get the areas and I have the stacks that sit on top of the areas. I'm just gonna highlight my data set and press Control C, then click on the chart Go to Paste Special and New Series is fine. Series name, that's fine. And that's fine. Just add it in there. Now, obviously Excel thinks that I'm adding new stacks to this. That's not what I want. So I'm just gonna right mouse click and change the series chart type of this whole new set that I just added, which are these, to a stacked area chart. Okay, so now I obviously want to make them very subtle. So I have to go to each of these areas. I'm gonna select a solid fill, but make sure it's the much lighter version of the original stack set. Okay, just so that it doesn't distract too much from the stacks. One thing we do have to fix if we're gonna use the standard Excel legend is we have to remove the part of the legend that we don't need, right? Because that's repetition. So these lighter ones, that's our stacked area chart. So I'm just gonna click, click and press delete. Click, click and delete. So that's the only one that we wanna keep. Now obviously you can optimize this chart further by adding total values to the top of the stacks, by activating the data labels for the stacks if you want, and by also adding the legend to the chart in a dynamic way so that the legend sits right here. It says Europe, here it says Asia, America, and Africa. I show these techniques to you in a separate video, so I'll make sure to put the link to that video in the descriptions below. Don't forget, if you want to show trends between stacks, you have two options. 
the simpler option is just to go to your design tab and activate the lines, so the series lines for the stacks. Another option is to add the same data set as stacked area. If you like this type of videos and you think you can learn new tips and tricks from my channel, don't forget to subscribe to get notifications when new videos like this one come out.